Hey, Carlos. Oh, hey, Carlos. Okay, we're missing something, and I don't know what it is. We know our margins are being squeezed by increased costs and competition. So that means we need to look again at our operational effectiveness. We're at 86% today. And while that's almost top quartile performance, corporate's challenging us to get to 90 in the next 12 months. Plus, we still need to keep reducing maintenance costs. Where do we start? Well, from the data I'm seeing, asset availability is our greatest lever. For a few years, we were making good progress. But now that's stalled out. What else can we do? Well, we've made significant investments in asset management, in people and processes and technologies. Right. But if we do what we did last year, we're not going to get different results. I, I, don't get me wrong. I, mean, I know we're doing a lot of the right things right. So maybe let's start there. Okay. Well, we've definitely made uh, big strides in predictive diagnostics. We started by putting monitoring systems on our critical equipment like the turbines and compressors. Yeah, that was a good move. Absolutely necessary. When we did the controls upgrade in 05, we put in smart instruments and valves and an asset management system. We cover the important machines like pumps, motors, and fans with portable vibration monitoring, and that information is monitored by the reliability team. Yeah, and most recently, the, the wireless... Uh... Right, right. We've added to the portable vibration rounds with wireless. That lets us safely monitor more equipment with more frequent updates. So clearly we're more predictive, we've got insights we never had before, uptime's improved and we're working more efficiently. Yeah, that gave us a big step change. It's what's gotten us so far. Those have all been great investments. And obviously all our efforts to implement the CMMS have helped too. We've got a great central database of our assets and we're using the system for maintenance work management. That's really improved planning and scheduling. We use it to manage inventory and spares, track maintenance costs, purchase materials and parts. And we're spending less time on paperwork. That's been huge in reducing maintenance costs. Oh, and let's not forget the people part of this. You know, the work processes. We've streamlined and documented maintenance procedures. We're definitely working more consistently and efficiently now, and that's helped retain expertise. Yeah, so our investments have definitely taken us a long way, but still, it's not going to get us to our goal, is it? So what's missing? Well, it's not like we have too little data. Or people aren't working hard enough. No. no. Or we've made bad investments. This is the reality, guys. I mean, we have to continue to improve if we're going to get to our target. And, you know, we're still taking down units to do routine maintenance. And remember that incident last month when we were down for a day unexpectedly? We're not ahead of this thing. Look, we've got thousands of pieces of equipment. How do we know we're not repeating the same maintenance over and over? I mean, what are the bad actors out there? I mean, should we be changing the way we operate some of our units? Uh, are people spending their time on the right things every day? Uh, are we sure that we're spending our maintenance dollars in the right places? See, we've got to get tools that will not only make us more efficient, but help us to be more effective in managing our assets every day. Now, for instance, okay, can you guys give me a chart of our most frequent failures and their costs and tell me which of our assets represent the greatest risk to our availability? Uh, I have all the failure data. I can pull that for the last year. It'll take some time to get it all into a spreadsheet that'll make sense. And I have all the costs and work history I could do the same, so once you're done, we can try and match it all up. What do you think? We need a couple months? No, no wait, now, we don't need a one-time fix. We need to be more dynamic, continually, more agile. We need to be able to integrate information, pull the relevant things from each system so that we can make informed, timely decisions. That sounds like a major IT project, to interface our systems, build that kind of analysis and reporting tools. Who's got the appetite for that? I mean, another multi-year project? Plus, it would have to be a custom solution for our plant, and that would be a headache to maintain and support. No, that's not it. We need to know this will work. We need management information to target our maintenance investments to get the greatest impact and return. You know, Metrics, key performance indicators, 
tools to focus our attention and drive action. And back to the bottom line, we need improved availability and reduced costs. I don't have the answer, but I think connecting all of this with the right tools is what we're missing. <laughs>